What's up, fellas, and welcome back to the channel. So, in today's episode, we're going to be picking right off from where we left in the last episode, and I continue to... What's up, fellas, and welcome back to the channel. So, in today's episode, we're going to be kicking off right where we left off. Kicking off right where we left off. What's up, fellas, and welcome back to the channel. So, in today's episode, we're going to be picking up right where we left off in the last episode, and I continued to scout this extinction server, and I ended up finding this pretty juicy rat hole. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Hi right, boys, so I found this rat hole. Um, but it's I'm really confused. I think these turrets are unpowered. They look like they're down. No, those heavy turrets are powered. But the tech turrets do look offline or they're facing down. I'm gonna try to raid this though, that's for sure. I did not mean to just fucking fly down here like that. That could have been certain death. Okay, so I'm just trying to... Gotta be very careful here. Gotta be very careful here. Alright, never mind being very fucking careful. God damn it, dude. Huge shout out to Get Art for sponsoring today's video. Get Arch is preparing to launch their new season on Saturday the 10th of September. They will have organized PvP events, a 10-man trial limit, whitelisting available for cat maps so you don't have to waste any precious time join simming, and a $200 reward to the Alpha of the cluster. Get Arch is one of the biggest Xbox and Windows 10 clusters and is expecting a huge turnout for this season. So don't miss out on any of the action and join their Discord linked in the description or in the pinned comment down below. No, okay, that's actually good. So my body didn't fall down. So, what that means is that I can go, um, I'm gonna go and get, like, a fed suit, and I can get my body. Hi, right, fellas, so we're spawning back in on center. I'm gonna get re-kitted up and go back to that rat hole. I've never raided it, so I don't exactly know what to expect. Um, I have seen videos of people, uh, raiding it, but the rat hole that they raided in the video was pretty scuffed, and they just were able to, uh, pop a beer, and, um... Drop down the little hole, and then I think that they pop the stego, or they're able to just like cheese the gen because it wasn't built very good. This one definitely seems to be stronger than the one that I saw get rated on a video, so I don't exactly know what to expect. But yeah, I'm gonna try my best to rate it, and uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, boys, pulling back in. Um, got some fed suits. I got a fed suit, some dust, um, smithy on me, had fiber and stuff, like all that good stuff, I guess, to repair um, my flak. Cause I feel like my fact's probably gonna break a lot trying to cheese this base. I can't even see it. It's somewhere in here though. Oh, I didn't bring beds. Fuck, that's where I should have brought beds. I can probably make them though. Alright. Fiber. With all the metal structures in there. I can put the rockets in there. Alright, I want to make sure that my boots have element. So I can actually walk up here. So I can put my fat gauntlets away, or my fed gauntlets away. Do have to be careful. Okay, so I know not to fucking peek this because I insta die. Okay, now now that I got the boots on, it makes this way easier. I can try to look down into their base and get a kind of a feel for what I'm looking at. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that those. I'm um, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that those tech turrets are unpowered. I don't think that they're um, powered, which doesn't make any sense. I don't know why you'd not put shards in them. Maybe it doesn't have the engram. Like, you can place them, but you can't access them. But, let me see. If I look down here. Yeah, those heavy turrets get full line of sight down here. Oh, boy. So I went and I got a carbo. So I'm going to try the carbo play first. I think if the carbo doesn't work, I'm going to test. Um, I'm like going to go tame a dodo, and I'll see if these turrets are um, on only survivors. And if the turrets aren't on only survivors, I think the only play after that is just to try to pop a beer and just see if I can get a rocket off down there. But first, we'll definitely try the carbo. Okay, I was able to toss the carbo out. 
Okay, oh, okay, perfect. So the carbo can soak. That's actually really good. Let me see if I can get it to, to move, though. Come on, carbo. They were shooting the carbo a little bit. I heard them f shoot it. Okay, can I peek this now? The carbo's LOSing. Okay, I can peek it. Wait, can I with that lag? Okay, I want to get a spyglass on this. Let me see. I might be able to. Whistle. I might be able to use a carbo to like LOS for me, or like use a carbo body to soak. If that makes any sense. Yeah. See, the turrets are trying to hit me, but they're hitting the carbo. But they're not hitting. They're hitting like not consistently or fast. Like this is gonna take forever if I have to soak like this at this speed. Alright boys, so we're back in uh, Sanctuary, and uh, I'm going to tame some Dodos, level 75, good enough. So yeah, I think that this hopefully will work, I'm really hoping that they just put their turrets on only survivors, but I'm kind of not that confident, because I'm pretty sure that one of those turrets was shooting the Carbo when it um, was like falling down into their base, but I'm thinking maybe that turret was just trying to shoot me and it ended up shooting the Carbo, but... Anyway, it's not like as much effort to come over here and tame a couple of dodos, so if it doesn't end up working out, then, you know, it's kind of is what it is. Alright, boys, we have returned to the rat hole. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just see. Let's we'll see if this works. I also tossed out this mate booster carbo that I have. So if I do need to soak with this carbo down here, it has mate boost. Let me just, uh, let me look down here. I want to see the guy still sleeping on his bed, which he is. Okay, so hopefully I can toss the dodo here. I can. Oh, it's a neutral. Come on, dodo. Come on, can you not put C4 on a dodo? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe you just can't put C4 on the dodo if you're inside the rat hole. I have no clue. But, anyways, missing success. Let's see if this works. Okay, that was not what I wanted to happen. Alright, go Dodo. Oh shit. Is that deep? Is that. Hold on, let me get shot once. Okay. I think that oh shit, I might have gotten all the turrets. Dude, Dodo for the fucking win, boys. I think that's all of them. I think that's all of them. I gotta be careful, because I don't know if these tech turrets are actually online or offline. I'm pretty, they're facing downwards, so I'm pretty sure they're off. Let's go, dude! The fucking dodo! The dodo for the fucking win! Let's go, boys. Pick up this airbnb up. How long is he... Oh, damn, he was online recently. Dude. I can't believe that actually worked. Damn, one dodo, dude. One fucking dodo. See how much L you have? Four? Okay. Boss pin coated. Refrigerator. Oh, some med boost. Nice, dude. We actually need med boost so bad. Okay, some resources in here. I'm sure all the loot's gonna be in this vault. Fuck yeah, boys. Alright, boys. Let's see what we got for loot. Actually, I don't want to get Swamp Fever. I think it's kind of... Let me see. If I put my full Fed suit on... Ah, fuck it, dude. Whatever. Let me just... 
Just gonna try not to go near the body. Nice, dude. So we got a Giga, a Mana, another Sinnoh Macraps, and a Snow Owl. Got a Transmitter, a good set of Flak, I think. I'll take this for sure. Okay, so I mean, I guess nothing too crazy. Um, but I definitely will not complain. Um, I'm gonna look for, uh, I'm gonna go tame a Parasaur and uh, see if these guys have anything buried. Because, I don't know, I was, not like I was expecting to get crazy loot, but I was definitely expecting to get more than this. But I won't complain too much. I'll definitely take the set of flak, but the flak, yeah, these flak leggings really weren't that good, but I think the rest of the, the flak was good. So I'll take the pickaxe too. Yeah, it's a prim saddle. That's not really good. Okay, I'll put the Arab B in here. Okay, nice, I can move. Alright, let's go get a Parasaur tamed up. Alright, boys, so we're back at the rat hole. Crowd timer is almost up. I tamed a Parasaur. So we'll see if they've got anything buried for us here. Uh, not really looking like it. Well, let's follow distance. Uh, yeah, I don't think they have anything buried. Um, I don't really care to blow up the tech turrets because I'm sure they're empty. But what kind of confuses me is this guy right here. He has... Look at all the boss fights he has. I mean, he has um, Alpha Broodmother. So he has the tech turret Ingram. So I don't know why he didn't put shards or, like, you know, turn these turrets on. Because I'm pretty sure um, he's just building this. But even so, like... If he would have just went to Gen 2, put like, oh yeah, went to Gen 2, found a little bit of element, converted it into dust, brought it back over here and put, you know, even 100 shards in these tech turrets, man. It would have made this way more difficult to raid. If he would have put them on all the survivors, you know, I would have just dodoed them like I did with the heavy turrets. But so, you know, it would have just made this way more harder of a raid. But yeah, anyways, don't think they got anything buried for us, so time to get out of here.